and welcome back my friends to Let's Play Mass Effect 3. The plans for today is to uh, talk to Joker and Edie, then uh, Liara wants to see us up in our cabin, and then Engineer Adams, and probably the rest of the ship. So we'll, we'll talk to uh, well, most people, hopefully. And after that we're going to the Citadel uh, one last time before going to Tchanka. So yeah, let's get started. Hey! The Turians will hold. Pound for pound, they're the best fighting force in the galaxy. Pound for pound is irrelevant, given the significantly higher mass of Reaper forces overall. That's why we're bringing in the Krogan. <laughs> Commander? Shepard, you are staring. Oh, sorry. Hello, Shepard. No! I'm stuck again! Curse you! Oh, wait. Oh, phew. Close one. Okay, so let's go up uh, to our cabin and see what Liara was doing. Something about a little project. Commander, Chief Engineer Adams would like to speak with you down in engineering. Commander? Yep, yeah, I'll get to him in a moment. Okay. Liara, you had something you wanted to discuss in my cabin? Yes, I'll be right up. What's this now? Come on in. Thank you. Could we sit? I've been thinking about the knowledge we gathered on the Reapers and how easily it could be lost again. So, I put a plan in motion to preserve things for the future. Just in case. Ooh. What's this? A record of the galaxy. Information on the Reapers, relays, different cultures, and blueprints of the Crucible. But there's one entry I wanted your opinion on. Which one? Your own. Ah. I'd be honored to have your input. How would you like history to remember you? 50,000 years is a long time for a computer to sit around. Please, I was an archaeologist. I know what I'm doing. I'm encasing these records in time capsules and seeding copies on multiple planets. And while it's not foolproof, the VI I'm installing has every translation and linguistics program I could find. So it's an information guide like Vigil on Ilos? Yes. I've been preparing it for some time. And it will be a privilege to guide the future discoverers of these records. Have you decided what you would like Dr. Tassoni to write in your entry, Commander? Yes, be honest. Put down the truth. Good, bad, don't leave anything out. Let history be the judge. I'll give them the facts. Let me just delete all these breathless passages on your heroics. <laughs> you writing anything I can't live up to? I can't help myself. You're a good friend, Shepard. So you. You've been there for me too, Liara. No, I haven't. I wish I could have joined you back on Ilium. You made up for it. Well, I suppose I did just write your name in the stars. <laughs> oh, that was a nice scene. Awesome way to start a set. And Clint Mansell provided the awesome music. Nom, 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 nom. Yeah, grow. Great fishing now. Wait. All right. Engineering. Uh, 
uh, Adams, 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 where are you at? Hi. Commander. Oh, yeah, he's he's in here. Commander, remember the problem I mentioned about a core overload possibly venting into the engineering compartment? Yep. Daniels, Donnelly, Edie, and I have been brainstorming and comparing notes. You see, the venting occurs when IES sinks are in a back cycle at the same moment the main core is at peak draw, such as from sustained kinetic. Oof, what Kenneth means to say is that we're pretty sure we can make the system safer. We just need a GX-12 thermal pipe. Unfortunately, we're cut off from Alliance supply chains. Could you keep an eye out for one the next time you're on the Citadel, Commander? I've got the specs right here. Are these modifications really necessary? It's a safety issue, not exactly critical. Under extreme conditions, like heavy bombardment to the kinetic barriers while traveling at peak flight speeds, plasma can vent into this compartment. It would vaporize anyone standing in this room. That sounds more serious than just a safety issue. Well, under those conditions, odds are you're about to lose the entire ship anyway. But we want every advantage we can get, right? Sure. I'll look for one next time we go to the Citadel. Thanks, Commander. I'm heading there anyway. All good, Commander. Commander? Oh, let me in. Out. Whatever. Right. Let's go visit Javik. Hey, how are you doing? It seems you believed Protheans built the mass relays. The Reapers are cunning in their deception, allowing life to flourish, century upon century. Letting us believe ourselves the masters of the cosmos. Huh. Then the truth becomes known. There are monsters in the dark spaces. And we are their prey. Your Liara Asari asks many questions. You would think she'd never seen a Prothean <laughs> before. No, she haven't. Commander. Down to the shuttle bay. Hey, Esteban, for your shuttle being so stealthy and all, you sure do get shot at a lot. Well, the UT-47A stealth systems only internalize heat and high band emissions. So while few sensors can pick us up, our cover is blown as soon as someone looks up. Time for an upgrade. Most scanners and tracking systems don't operate in mid-range frequencies. Sure, maybe we've been shot at, but we haven't been shot down. Yet. Lucky for us, you're almost as good a pilot as you think you are. Well, yeah, there's that too. <laughs> Can't believe Cerberus would open fire on civilians like that. As twisted and insane as his logic might be, I thought the elusive man was trying to save humanity. I guess he's willing to sacrifice anyone to win. Sir. What's this? Models! Models! Hmm. Awesome. Good. What kind of shotguns do I have? Hold on. Maybe I should try the Hurricane instead of the uh, Eagle. You know, just for a mission or two. Probably going to take the uh, Matok out on a test spin as well later on. I, I totally missed it, didn't I? Hello. 
Arcane. There we go. Good, good, good. Uh, cooling thing is. Oh, was this the uh, thing that they want to uh, wanted to have down in engineering? So that was easy. <laughs> oh, information on Bilal Usoba. Uh, civilians engaged in black market trades will with. Oh, okay. Have been able to put your drug tag on. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Nice. Two quests completed. Kind of cool helmet, but no. We'll see, we'll see. Viper. So supplies and nothing. These gauntlets I'm not interested in. Tyrant State Arms. Eviscerator. Alright, well, we'll head over to the uh, Citadel anyway. Do you hear that hum? Is that just me? Probably. Are you being indoctrinated? Okay, first off, engineering. Hey, dudes. Command, good news on the installation of that thermal pipe you got us. I went right, brilliant. Much better than we expected. I told you it would. It gets better. While interfacing through our ESO capacitors, our Miss Daniels here had an epiphany. I wouldn't go that far. She and Donnelly ah. produced some theoretical improvements to our capacitor design. Edie and I ran with it and documented our conclusions. Our core is too compact to apply our theories, but it could help the Crucible engineers. Give the word and I'll send the plans their way. Do it. Aye, aye. Well done, everyone. We're all heroes today. Yay! My board is green. Okay. Ship them. Good, 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 good. Crew deck. Hi. Okay, you too. Doctor, I'd like to hear the song. Again? Trying to calculate amino acid decay rate. You said you would once the tests were done. <sighs> oh, better to die to a thresh, a ball with shotgun blasting, roaring raw, than to play ambassadorial games with the blood of Shiaka in her veins. Off to fight historians can't with diplomats instead of a crant, but she'll be true to Duchanka's dream and live and die a Krogan queen. For she is the Krogan queen, hurrah, hurrah for the Krogan queen, and it is, wow. it is a glorious thing to be the Krogan queen. <laughs> Still prefer Pat song. Of course. <coughs> I really had to twist your arm. <laughs> uh. All right. Garrus. What's up? Not right now. Uh, okay. Well, he made his point clear enough. Say that again. The pop 
population of the colony world of Tyvor has been killed. I don't understand. The Reapers have been taking people alive. It was self-inflicted. When Reaper forces invaded, Tyvor's colonists detonated nuclear weapons inside their cities. Oh. Goddess. Their deaths would have been instantaneous, Doctor. Thank you, Glyph. That'll be all. That's one way to go. Working on anything? I'm helping decode some of the Crucible's designs, or trying to. Theoretical particle physics based on specialized base 12 mathematics aren't exactly my specialty. And Javik is his usual forthcoming self. I'd trade my last hundred years to resurrect even one Prothean scientist to help us. I've never seen Krogan move with such purpose. It's a little terrifying. Good to see you again, Shepard. All right. Time to go to the Citadel. Just gonna peek in here. Peek in here. And the last peek in here. Oh wait, two more peeks. Hey, Doctor. Commander. Time to head to the Citadel. Got to make sure. Octorus. Stuff. Num num fuel. Fifty percent, you say? What more could it be? Okay. Fuel, really? Oh, Intel. Intel from Battle of Arcturus. Evasion successful. Cool. I wonder if that is a quest item. We'll have to look. Service attack. Lots of Tachanka. Nice. Okay, banning evidence. 